What's going on YouTube? Poison Dark Frog Hobbyist is Bradley here with another video. Haven't given you guys a video in weeks. So this video I'm just going to talk about these orange giant isopods that I have here. I really have I really have a lot of these guys in about three good tanks. I notice they really do good, you know, on a lower level where it's cooler. So I got all of these from one tank and I'm about to actually, you know, mail these out to someone. I got my initial culture from Jeremy Huff. I've spoken I've spoken about Jeremy in a video before. I'll leave his contact information. He has all types of isopods. So they're just for starters, they're like the gray isopods, dwarf white and purple isopods if you guys didn't know so isopods are like the janitors to your vivariums along with springtails and with my with my isopods I like to use turf face you can also you can use clay and uh, what's that organic charcoal <clears throat> what they're in right now is a uh, they're in some tree fern substrate. There's some leaf litter there and turf face. The sand, um, not really the the bigger parts. It's like a it's like dust. It's basically like sand. They're like two two types of turf face. So and maybe. The phyllo baits will eat the bigger ones, but everything else can only fit the babies in their mouths. Like a lot of a lot of these bigger ones, they won't really get eaten by most of the darts. But this is a good, this is a good, uh, good bug to have. It really reproduce pretty well. You really won't see them all the time, but if you see them, that's that's a plus to me. So yeah, the the receiver of this coach is pretty lucky. He's getting a bunch of isos for a very low price. So until next time, like, don't dislike, comment, subscribe, and enjoy your frogs.